Hebrew kids, welcome to Back to the Bible. We are talking about how kindness heals. This brings me to a Bible story found in not only Matthew chapter 9, but Mark chapter 2 and Luke chapter 5. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon, the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room, even outside the door. It seemed like these people showed up from every village, in all of Galilee and Judea, and as well as from Jerusalem. Some Pharisees were sitting nearby while Jesus was talking. Four men came to the house, carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. They tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the huge crowd. So they went up to the roof, took off some tiles, and then they lowered the paralyzed man on his mat down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, young man, your sins are forgiven. But the Pharisees said to themselves, who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. In that moment, Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk? I will prove to you that the son of man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up, pick up your mat and go home. And immediately, as everyone watched, the man jumped up, picked up his mat and went home praising God. He walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, we've never seen anything like this before. Super kids, when the man was literally dropped through the roof in the middle of Jesus' sermon, Jesus could have easily responded to that like, excuse me, I'm preaching here. But instead, he acted in kindness and healed the man. Jesus is the real example that kindness heals. Thanks for watching. Back to the Bible.